Okay, so my first outfit, let me close the door here, is just kind of like this, I'm gonna get groceries, but I wanna look hot. So I have this white long sleeve from Garage. I have this in black and white, and I want it in every single color because it's just my everyday top. I'm gonna wear the same jewelry throughout this one. So my Vivian necklace from my sister, my cross from my Oma, my gold hoops. I might switch out my earrings if I'm feeling fun. And then I have on my New York Yankees baseball cap. Not a fan of the Yankees. This is a very controversial piece to wear in Toronto, but I do it. I have my snakeskin thrifted bag. I can't tell if these are black or brown rock -aware leggings but I love the back let me get a good butt moment and then just my champion slides so yeah that is the first fit um cute grocery look okay so we have another everyday look so the thing that I think makes these outfit is pairing them with the flats. I don't know how to show you this. I wish you could see like my shoes with everything, but it's hard. So anyways, the flats, I can't remember where they're from, but it took me forever to find the perfect pair um, of black flats. I think they might've been from Ardeans or like H&M, but um, the chocolate feels like a garage ad. Um, the, Blue button up cardi is from Garage, and these jeans are Abercrombie. Why can I not say that? I'm gonna have to get used to it because my favorite jeans are from there. And then I was gonna do a cute shoulder bag moment. I do feel like that might look better with this look, but I feel like this look, you have to have your hair tucked behind your ears and you have to have a bag that can fit a book and your hair clip because this is like very like wholesome college girl, like gonna go read on a park bench. And she's like carrying back like her reusable bag of like, I don't know, like raspberries to make pancakes, like whole wheat pancakes. So yeah, this is her. Okay, so this next look, I thought let's do a going out vibe. Again, the shoes really make it. They're thrifted white snakes, snake skin. Yes, my feet are pink. That's just the world we're living in. But, okay. So the top is from Aritzia. It's Babaton. It's like this cute little like it's not knitted but it's got like this like perforated design in it that's like so cute and then the sport is one of my favorites i wore it to oshiega um it's from zara like years ago and then my little silver bag is thrifted and i feel like this would be really cute i have a pair of like silver angel wing earrings and I'm too lazy to put on. But yeah, I feel like this is like an all about legs moment. So giving the legs their time to shine. So this is the outfit I wore on New Year's on this year. Well, I wore the skirt. Um, super cute. It's a really cute set. It's from Fashion Nova and I just wore it like this with this bag and um, the same silver heels that I wore for the last outfit. But to spice it up a little bit, I'm wearing it with Air Force's I'm not wearing underwear, so like I don't wanna flash you. Um, but Air Force's and then this New York Yankees jacket. Again, the amount of Yankees per paraphernalia I have is truly insane considering I've only been to New York one time. Actually, I think this would look better with my snakeskin bag. Like, what a fucking cute 
vibe, you know, like just, it's like your boyfriend gave you like a jacket on the night out, but I'm single, you know, so you got to make do. Also, I didn't wear, um, obviously a bra <laughs> like this, uh, for New Year's, but I'm too lazy to change my bra, so. Anyways, outfit, I think four. Oh, also the jacket's thrifted, bag thrifted, shoes Air Force has already said that. <laughs> so this is like a hot island date to me. Like, or like you're in like the Target parking lot of Miami. You know what I mean? Like, it's like hot, but like casual. I just see like a palm tree in the back and like you're just in like, I don't have them, but I have like this pair of like gold flip flops and this is what you wear. Um, the top is Brandy Melville. It's just like one of those ones that you're supposed to like wrap around, but I just have it tied up in the front. And then the skirt is like the worst skirt ever. It doesn't really fit me that well, but Vaseva, it's from, Oh, Polly, Princess Polly, one of those brands doesn't really matter because I don't recommend it. Um, it's like the worst, like, um, you can see the side, the side. I don't have it zipped up fully, but I like how it has a little slit. Yeah, so this is my summer vibes. Summer Target vibe, sunset with your man kind of vibe. So you can tell that I'm just dying for a summer moment by all of these summer outfits, okay? I really am. It is March, may as well be January because I can see a pile of snow outside my window. But anyways, the thing that makes these super summery is the wedges. Yes, I will single-handedly bring back wedges if need be. Um, I'm sure they're already in fashion and I just know nothing about trends. <laughs> but this top is from Aritzia from back in the heyday. It's like one of those like bustier tops. Um, I remember Carly Bible saying that um, like back in the day, when, at like 2014 she only would sleep in these tops because they're basically like built-in bras and it made your like boobs never ever sag because you were supported while you slept false false information and then i have this little thrifted tan coach bag and this skirt is thrifted but the brand is sirens so yeah that's my this would be I feel like this could be like kind of like an everyday like going to like dinner look or it could be potentially going to like the club if you wanted like a more cash night out on the town kind of thing so there's that okay so this is like my grade eight fantasy so i have this graphic tee from the children's section that the girlies on Depop would sell for 25 um, but it says catch him if you can. I grew up in a Christian Catholic household so I don't know if Pokemon was banned but we just didn't have it. <laughs> um, and then I also have this thrifted camo skirt which I don't love how it fits but um, obviously with these, since it's my grade eight fantasy, I feel like you have to wear it like rolled down to like show your like belly button piercing. Um, belly button piercing also is from, uh, a kiosk from the mall, thrifted purse. And then I don't think I have my, and by I don't think I know I don't have cause, um, <laughs> my friend has them, but imagine this all with high top bands, just like the classic black and white ones. Yes. Um, you know, 13 year old me is dying. She's gagging. She's loving it. <laughs> She's loving it. 
Okay, so this is like, um, what would I call this? Um, like, kind of like, a, I guess like a spring, a spring outfit, you know? Spring day with the girls, getting drinks. Um, feels a bit breezy for dinner because it's a low rise trouser and a sheer crop top, but I am literally obsessed. I feel like also this outfit would look 10 times better with a tan. Like it's all sort of blending in together because I'm so pale right now. But yeah, so anyways, the top I'm obsessed with is thrifted. It's like this like wrap, like sheer wrap, floral, ruffle um, top that I thrifted from the brand is Body Glove though, which is that brand that's famous for doing the Kylie Jenner, Kris Jenner um, pink one piece bikini. Um, so it's like interesting because this is like so the opposite of that. And then my sister thrifted these pants for me. They're just some low rise tan desk trousers and then this snake skin a little bit to like break it up a little bit so i feel like this is like very like classy but also like kind of hot i don't know like i'm getting like a lunch drink moment from this okay so i'm doing a way more casual look now so um this is my trisha paytas long sleeve t-shirt just says trishy land in like this carnival kind of like you know like when you go to fairs and stuff they do that spray paint font um so i love those and then um these white sweatpants that my sister got me she didn't get me <laughs> she bought them for herself but i stole them um so <laughs> just sister things um excited for us to live together at some point um to double my wardrobe so then I have on my like just some white socks and then my fluffy baby blue pumas puma slides my miss riri my uh pink they're like they're called like the pink beads even though they're more like a nude and uh yeah my tan guest bag and this i actually got really recently it looks kind of like vintage but i'm pretty sure you can still get these online so i feel like this is just like a super cute out and about um kind of spring winter fit if i wanted to make it like more wintry i'd throw on my, my white puff with it so yeah Okay, so this outfit is, actually what purse am I gonna wear with this? Hmm. Maybe my black one? I don't know, maybe she doesn't have a purse. Maybe she left her purse at home. Like this is kind of like, she's on vacation, you know? Like she doesn't care. Um, it's essential that this outfit is worn with an orange lip. And you have, again, this would be so much better if I, had a tan homegirl is pale. Also, the carrying of the shoes to the side is essential because she's barefoot on the beach. Also, I changed my accessories because these also make the outfit. I have these gold bamboo earrings from Forever 21. These Versace glasses which <laughs> one of my like she's not even like a relative just like this woman who's like a family friend like dropped over like it was so nice <laughs> like a box of like her old sunglasses and like her like son's like labeled underwear and like stuff when she, when she was like moving and cleaning out her house like if somebody told me that story or like i heard that story on youtube i'd be like some people just have it so nice <laughs> like I'm at, that would happen to them but I'm just a regular girl, okay? And this is my only pair of designer glasses. Um, anyways. Um, so then this gold top, which makes your boobs look literally amazing, is from, um, it came in a set from Fashion Nova. The skirt is from Abercrombie. Um, it's very like, um, 
90s, I guess, like fitting. Like I feel like um, very like loose on the waist. I mean, it's not that loose on the waist, but I feel like instead of just like cinching you in. And then these shoes are thrifted, which is like actually amazing because I feel like they're like very like the shoe of the moment. Like the heel is so perfect. And yeah, so she just has her shoes by the side. Again, this would totally work with like a pair of like gold flip flops. You have to have the orange red lip. That is so essential, but I didn't put that on, okay? Homegirl's getting lazy. Okay, so this is sort of like a quick and easy, like you need to feel hot, but you don't know what you wanna wear. So this top is from Aritzia. I also have like the short sleeve version because you know, if you ever just wanna have a, you know, tits out moment, this is the top to do it with. Um, I have these um, like beaded earrings. Um, these hoops from Kensington, which I think just like spice it up a little bit. Um, these jeans are um, the mom jeans, the Curve Love mom jeans um, from Abercrombie. Then I have on, it's always so hard to show you my shoes. I have on these red heels um, that are thrifted. They're like red snakeskin. And this is how you know kind of that my outfit video is a bit of a lie. Like, I, I feel like I would wear this to like dinner, but these shoes I've worn out before and um, I fell down twice. <laughs> so, you know, that's the problem with thrifted shoes is you really have to get comfortable with falling down at the club because they offer no stability. So then I just have my uh, bucket bag from the Ritz, my little hair clip and my Vegas keychain on it always. So yeah, this is just like my hot girl, you know, my shift just ended. I kind of just need to throw something on quick. Can't really think about it. You know, throw on a little Killian perfume. Big a man, you know what I mean? Zip bam boom. Okay, so this is like hot at the office. So um, I have this leather jacket uh, or like leather blazer. Um, I literally can't remember where this is from. This dress um, is like, it's a cable knit dress from uh, the Ritz, what we refer to as Aritzia because Homegirl is pricey. These are two different mismatching um, thigh socks. Um, so, you know, that just adds a little interesting something something there. And then this bag, I know I wear it with everything, but it literally goes with everything. Like I feel just very, you know, like 90s girl in this, like 90s boss bitch. Like, you know what I mean? like just i don't know just like hot <laughs> and like ready to kill um and also i thought the earrings worked for this too but you could just wear like you know gold hoops also okay so this is like another cash moment i feel like we've been getting a little dressy have we i don't know i can't really remember so the top is this cute backless top um, from Aritzia. <laughs> I feel like this should be sponsored by Aritzia um, and by Village. Actually, wait, no, these are my little brothers. Um, these are my little brothers track pants and they literally fit me perfectly. My bucket bag and then my champion slides. Like I know the bottom are gross, but you just need to, you just need to let me live, okay? So this is it. Um, I wish my Poutine calendar was covering this. I wish my background was more of a vibe, but you know, it is what it is, so. Yeah. Okay. So this is um, thrifted guests. If I can thrift 
One thing, it's going out dresses, and I tell myself every time I go into the thrift store, um, like, just don't, because you don't need another one. You know what I mean? Just don't. Don't do it. Um, and then I have, and then also going out shoes, I can always, always, always thrift. And it's like, I don't need going out shoes, but um, my balance is so bad. Um, these boots, you know, oh, I'm just trying to show off my boots. That's it. <laughs> um, yeah, thrifted, I think Steve Madden's. Um, and the ankles are completely worn out. So these are also really hard to like walk in. So again, going out in thrifted shoes, it's like the cutest look, but if you ever see a girl falling, take a look at her shoes because she's wearing the nicest shoes, okay? So she doesn't look stupid. She looks fresh, okay? I'm throwing that disclaimer out there. This bag I've worn now in all of my outfits, basically. All my bags, like, I feel like I have, like, you know, I feel like I have a lot of bags, but I feel like some of these girls be whipping out of a different bag for every single outfit. So, uh, you know, you know, there's the hanger thing. I also love how in the back it has um, this little like beaded, like string thing. I don't know. My hair is also getting really like messed up. And I think my mascara is smudging at this point in the video because I have the world's oiliest eyelids. So. Okay, this would be a super basic and boring outfit because I'm just wearing this white cropped hoodie from American Apparel. I miss American Apparel with my whole hearts. I used to have like this like red, like deep V bodysuit, like it was backless. Um, I wore it on Canada Day one year and like I literally don't know how I could have lost it. Like I don't know. Um, my sister's white sweatpants. Um, Air Forces, and then this is like the only thing that makes it fun is my little Hello Kitty bag, which I literally love so much. So, um, I wish, I mean, it's just, I do like wearing like a lot of color, so it is hard for me to work color into my bags. I don't actually know if this video is going to be reflective of it. I can't really think of any colorful outfits I've had, but, um, I wish I got more use out of this bag, but I feel like this is like the perfect little outfit for it, you know? Just looking like a baller at the grocery store. <sighs> okay, so this is like um, a cute um, dinner look, you know? This kind of like gets me in the mood to have, you know, like a gourmet taco, you know? I want a good, like, you know, I want a good chips and guac, you know, I want, I want a good time, you know, I'm ready to let loose, but I'm also ready to not be carded twice, you know, this actually is, um, potentially a Jack Astor's outfit, you know, where I'm just trying not to get ID'd because I'm 24, um, and it's embarrassing, <laughs> so the top is, thrifted this also red lip is mandatory i have on my sunglasses from the last look where um a lip was mandatory if you can recall my thrifted little black mini bag that i've showed a hundred times my abercrombie jeans again picture with a red lip and this is so much more fun and then my little thrifted aldo shoes like guys Ladies, come on, this, this is so fun. I love it, okay. Okay, so this is just like kind of like a cute, like this is more like a fall outfit um, than like spring, summer. Like I just wanna be, um, you know, reading a book at a small little cafe, sipping my coffee, you know, working on one of my pieces, you know, just, um, you know, just listening to a sad song. It's overcast, you know, you get the vibes. So this dress is from Sirens. Um, 
The cardigan is Aritzia. I borrowed, my little sister had like the gray uh, version of this cardigan. And there was a time I'd swore I'd never be a cardigan person, but they're just so cozy and fun. My bucket bag, of course I have to have a book. Right now I have Hacking Darwin, but I feel like if this girl was reading a book, it would be like To the Lighthouse, Virginia Woolf. It would be more like, um, maybe a play actually, maybe a play. And then I have my little Uggs on because I'm just trying to be cozy. So yeah, these are like, the cozy girl hours, you know, I had to throw a couple of these in. I can't all be glamour shots. Is my mascara really smudging again? Sometimes I think it's just like I have dark under eyes and I think it's mascara smudging. <sighs> Let me know if you have oily eyelids. <sighs> okay, this outfit is simple, but I feel like it packs a punch. So I have my top. At what age should you lose your compassion at men? Um, like it's directed at men. My um, Abercrombie light wash jeans. Yes, I have three different pairs of these Curve Love jeans. Um, also, I forgot to mention about the black um, Abercrombie ones that are like the mom style is they're technically supposed to be cropped. So I got them in long so they would fit on my legs um like they would just go down to my ankles and they wouldn't be cropped but these are a little cropped but i think they're cute because they're not like skinny perfectly they're just kind of like straight leg um yeah and then my everyday bucket bag and then if you want you know you could throw on i have like this little utility jacket that is like if you're going outside you know you don't want to be seen, throw on a little hat, you know, party underneath. No one ever knows, you know what I mean? It's like to the girls, they don't need this, but then the men, you're like, read my shirt, read my tits. Finally, a reason for you to be staring at my titties, okay? So this is just like another plea for summer. Like I'm just so over, just so over it not being summer. I wanna be warm. Again, this would look 10 times better with a tan, um, but I have this cute little um, tube top, this floral tube top that's from garage but like i thrifted it um these shorts are levi's um and then this bag is from darling vintage in ottawa it's just like this like cute like cream gold bucket bag and then yeah i would just wear this either with like air forces or like gold flip-flops like i just you know or no shoes, you know, I'm just chilling on the beach, you know, doing my thing. I'm down to come clean, but not you. And this last outfit we're going for is it's so bad, it's good. So the top is this like weird see-through like mesh mock turtleneck that I thrifted from um, House of CB. My bra is Victoria's Secret. I feel like could do this as like a braless moment, but I kind of love the bra with it. And then these white skinny jeans are from Frame, my little silver bag. And then the thing that makes it are these stripper heels. They're literally so amazing. I thrifted them in Montreal at um, Ava B's. And they had like a little bow on the front and like a strap, but I took them off and now they're like, just like these amazing shoes. Again, if you see a girl falling at the club, <laughs> this video should just be titled, um, in defense of girls falling at the club. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm really, I'm not a messy drunk. I really am not. I just, you know, we all have our moments, okay? So anyways, this is the last and final fit. 
I hope that um, you know these were like fun and interesting and not boring. So, um, okay, with peace and love.